you oh yeah I have vision I have vision of what I want to do I have to do this now I first of all I'm the first on one uh, education because education is very very important to our people especially uh, community that I was in Pasir Biru jadi itulah pendidikan yang sangat penting untuk kita lagi di luar bandar seperti ini seperti di Pasir Baru lah jadi that's why I want to view di sebuah dia saya deh, to complete the secondary school and review more secondary school and follow up on the approval for the vocational college and I also want to go down to the lowest level and creating more childcare and learning center, preschool or something because we must be quite comprehensive in our approach to educating our children not only from young but I mean not not only at the upper level but right from young young all the way up. The second thing I want to do is of course uh, economy, first on economy. For economy, uh, last time I was, uh, I brought this housing industry to Bau. This time I want to bring industrial estate, industry itself. So, already approved uh, with the budget of total budget of 27 million to provide for industrial estate uh, site so that our SMB, you know, uh, PKS, uh, small and medium industries can have uh, a place yang sah to do business here. So partly for investment, partly to stimulate uh, industrial activities, uh, and also to create jobs and to create entrepreneurship among the SMEs. <coughs> then, <coughs> second thing why I want to do that is also because I want to link Bao Town next on to the main highway now that we're going to do the uh, Pen Borneo Highway, so that we can have a link from the main highway right to Bao Town next time. So now I'm putting some industry or economic activity to link the highway, proposed highway, to Bao Town also. So we want Bao to grow, you see. And of course, uh, um, also to do uh, uh, for that tourism industry. Because tourism industry is a very uh, big industry and uh, we can, we must take advantage of our resources here. One thing that we have here is we have a history like gold mining, you know, so you must take advantage of it by having gold mine museum together with the Chinese cultural village because it was mined by the Hakka, the Chinese before, you see? so just to commemorate all those things, become a tourism product, it will be very effective, uh, which is also a request of the Chinese people, you know. Then uh, the Bidayu here, in fact, we are going to do our Bidayu cultural village. So we have Bidayu cultural village, we have Chinese cultural village, and we want to develop uh, like our caves, our lakes, and so on. So that will become a tourism product. Otherwise, uh, we talk about tourism industry, there must be tourism products. So we want to develop more tourism products. And also we want to um, take advantage of the fact that our dormitory want to have a, uh, a cruise ship to land at Smatan. And the, 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 the tourists will go down to Kuching, but Bao is halfway. So we are lucky. We can catch them halfway to see our tourism products. Uh, even like now, we have a place for picnic, for jungle resort, you know. So this is what we want to develop uh, in terms of tourism. Then uh, third is on uh, community development. As you know that I think, I can dare say, that this is, that I have done for the last 15 years, the biggest community center owned by the community, not by the government. And you can see, uh, and, and also the cultural village later on. So I have to uh, plan, design and implement this project for the community to have facilities. And that's why today we can have this Bekas to use this center. We can have big gawai here. Uh, we can have a lot of function here because we have uh, two facilities now. We have the indoor sport hall, we have the football field, we have the uh, big community hall, we have the long house, and we have the baruk, we have the cultural center coming up, and we have the preschool here. You know, and I'm going to put one more block of house in front there, in front of the school here also, in front of our uh, here so that we can have commercial, social, sporting facilities, all in one. Uh, and you can see that we also have the biggest area for car parking. So, a few thousand people come here, no issue. Like that day on the gate last month, I, uh, I brought here the 10,000 people. Still no problem about parking and so on, because this place has a lot of parking space, and uh, plan such a way that it is very user friendly. The one is I have to do is my program for the community. I want to get more participation of the working group and the younger people to come back and serve their own kampung. So I call this program called Club Kemajuan Kampung 
the the I mean hours lah. So our our kampung development club. So that all the working group, all the retirees, all the younger generations can join this club and attach to the DKK or the community, kampung committee so we can develop their own kampung, contribute to develop the kampung. You know? Because why? The working group have more money, have better salary and have fun to help and also they are more educated, they are more experienced, they have networking to be able to work together to help their own kampung. So they must be proud of their own kampung and develop their own kampung. So that's why I'm now the program. So I have tried it in this kampung here and it looks very successful because they immediately can have a KRT where they get Jiran Monita, Jiran Pemuda and they have cleaning campaign. So now they start cleaning rubbish and so on and make people to teach the people about uh, cleanliness, you know. Then we are talking about more program later on to do for these people because why? They are very enthusiastic. The reason before that they don't participate is because there's no system provided to them. But now we create a system for them to come in. That means to the club, you know, form the club and for their own kampong. So we must be proud to contribute to our kampong. So that's why I'm promoting now and a few kampong now going to launch this thing. The second thing or the third thing about community is I want to do, encourage them to do child care and learning center. Why is it so important? Because now the younger generation, uh, the working group, they want to go to work. But who take care of the young children? So if you have a center, at least professional people being trained to, to, to look after them and also uh, train teachers to train to teach them. So they will have not only taken care of a professional, but also by trained teachers. And those people must come from the community itself. So we create employment. We save costs because when they share the cost, it will be cheaper for them. And also we free the parents to go to work because the children taken care by the center. You know, so that's why I'm promoting the also now. I'll just leave it to him uh, <laughs> to see my record yeah. and to, to know what I'm going to do. So if they think that I'm, uh, I'm fit to be in his team, I will gladly continue to serve Raya. But the decision whether they should take me or not, rest entirely up to him.